Hey, holy shit, is that my girl out there in the corner? It's Ruby and today we are staying at the cheapest room at the link. We booked their standard one queen and let me give you a tour. You know what I mean. So when we booked the room, it said it was only 275 square feet, hence it being a queen bed instead of a king. I thought this was gonna feel so tiny and claustrophobic. But it's actually the opposite. You can tell these rooms were done pretty recently and the designer was really smart. The furniture is compact. They've made tons of floor space. We really don't feel tight in here at all. It's light and airy and looks really clean and fresh. Our view is really bad. <laughs> and I bet at night you could totally see into people's rooms. The bathroom is not huge, but it doesn't feel too small. You have like a walk-in shower, it does have a curtain. They do those pump bottles on the wall for your shampoo and conditioner and stuff. I don't mind that at all. I think it's less wasteful than those plastic bottles, but I mean, this is perfectly decent. He's handling things here that he is quite proud of his job. <laughs> Overall, the room's really modern and nice, and I think we're gonna be pretty comfortable. We did check in at around like 10 o'clock-ish, and if you check in before one, they charge you $60 for early check-in. We haven't been to the link in a while, and since we've been here last, there's been some changes to the casino floor, they've added new restaurants, there's a ton to look at, and I remember the pool being a lot of fun, so we definitely have our hands full, we should get going. One of two restaurants that Buddy B has opened inside of the link is called the Boss Cafe. This cafe has like square cut pizza, sandwiches, as well as his like classic Italian bakery. But we really wanted to try something unique and they have a mutz bar. It's just fresh mozzarella with focaccia and we got spicy peppers on top. It looks really good and kind of a unique snack. This is a really yummy snack. Even better, you guys. We bought a soda, five bucks. Total ripoff, right? Wrong. You get free refills all day long with this cup. That's an amazing deal. If you come stay at the link, check in and buy a cup from here and drink for free. <laughs> the link is definitely like a fun party hotel for sure. So the casino is a fairly decent size. It's kind of weirdly shaped, like they'll have clusters of slots. So you kind of have to walk around a lot to see everything. However, the table minimums like roulette and blackjack right now were like $15 on a Saturday, which isn't terrible. And it's a very lively and popular casino. got back from exploring the casino floor. Holy cow, is it busy down there. We had a little snack. I think it's time to head to the pool and I'm guessing it's gonna be just as busy and crazy there too. It is a party. It is basically a day club. It is 21 and up only, no kids. 
fun. As you can see, everybody is just partying, splashing, having a great time. Not a relaxing pool. We love it. It's always fun coming here. It's even more fun than I remember. So if you're here to party in Vegas, like the Link Pool is a definite, definite thumbs up, in my opinion, it's so fun. We're pretty hungry, and every single time I look at our key card, it just really, really makes me wanna go to Flavortown. All right, made it to Guy Fieri's Vegas Kitchen and Bar. This is like the big restaurant inside of the Link. They have an outdoor patio, but it's super hot out right now, so we're gonna see what they have on the menu. I'm imagining a lot of gooey, delicious bar food. All right, yes. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we looked at the shareables menu and they had trash can nachos and we said, yes, please. These are 25 bucks, easily shareable. There's pickled red onions on here. Super, super gooey, like every chip looks wet. These look so good, I cannot wait. Mm. There's barbecue sauce, because the meat is pulled pork. So the barbecue is balancing against like the black beans. And I got a little bit of that sweetness from the onion and there's a little heat from jalapenos. These are like not just regular nachos. They have a lot of flavor. These are awesome. Our food was really good. 25 bucks and we're both full. Now, you guys keep talking about this drink and I'm gonna see if I can go find it. Wow, it is hopping inside O'Shea's. O'Shea's is the little mini casino inside of the Link Casino. And you guys were raving about this Bailey's Freeze, so I thought I would give it a try. It was $11, and it's basically like cappuccino flavored with Bailey's. It's like a boozy Wendy's Frosty. It's really good, really cold on this hot day, so thank you for the recommendation. I'm really enjoying it. Right outside of O'Shea's is the Blarney Bar. It's a fun people watching spot. They have beers out here that you can just pick up and grab and being on the Link Promenade is a huge perk to staying at the Link. Its location is really great. So hot today. We had a ton of fun, but all of that sun just made us like exhausted. I am going to take a shower and wash my hair, go to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. We slept pretty good. We got some coffee at Dunkin' this morning, but we're getting pretty hungry for breakfast. And the other new restaurant in here is actually a food truck, and it's by Buddy V as well. And I think they have some breakfast sandwiches and stuff. So we're gonna go and check those out and see how they are. All right, so the food truck is called Buddy V's Jersey Eats, and it's basically just like sandwiches, waffle fries, things like that, but they have breakfast sandwiches here too. So we got the sausage breakfast sandwich with a Kaiser roll. It's got egg and cheese, 10 bucks, put a little hot sauce on it. It's a quick, easy option. One thing I was like, didn't open until 10, which is a little late for us. Also, both Buddy V's restaurants, you can't charge to your room, which is annoying because you don't get Caesar's points then, but we'll see how this is. I hope it's good. I'll just try it without hot sauce first. The sausage is real breakfast sausage, like real breakfast sausage, and it's got wonderful flavor and spices to it. Good sandwich, 10 bucks, not bad, it's a big size. <laughs> 
time for me to give you guys my final thoughts on our stay at the link. So let's start with the room. We paid about $250 all in with resort fees and taxes and everything, not including the $60 early check-in fee, which is outrageous. <laughs> but it was a Saturday, a really busy Saturday. And $250 for a Saturday in Vegas is actually super reasonable, believe it or not. Normally during the week, these rooms are like 80 or $90 a night. So very reasonably priced. There's a lot to like about the link if you want to party. <laughs> if that pool didn't seem like your vibe, that's kind of the vibe of the whole property. It's partying, it's loud, there's a ton of people you're gonna get bumped into. And it's fun if you're in the mood for that. If you're not, you're not gonna enjoy the property that much. It's gonna be way too claustrophobic for you. Although I'm telling you right now, the biggest drawback that we've noticed is how busy the elevators are here at the link. It's crazy. They're so busy. It's just, so it's not for everybody, but I do recommend it to those of you that I think would like this one. And I would come and stay again, especially for a good price. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you subscribe so you can catch all of my videos in the future. 